Well, firstly, you wake up with the birds uh, at first light. When you walk out that back door, uh, you know you're alive. This is our catchments, our communities project for the lower ovens, uh, which was uh, seeking to uh, work with partners and uh, land managers in the community to promote integrated catchment management in the lower ovens uh, catchment area. Our catchments, our communities has provided us with funding to do fencing, uh, fencing off of Reedy Creek, weed control and revegetation. It's to create the corridors with the trees for your birds and habitat of uh, other native animals along the creek line to uh, stop the erosion and arrest that uh, and with fencing to keep the stock out to protect the uh, waterway. This is just a little bit of remnant bushland in Wangaratta and there are bits and pieces of it along the river. We need to make this the best possible area for biodiversity and we need to start linking up areas within Wangaratta so this is a bit of a model to, to go forward with. When we arrived there was just a few big old gum trees and so we planted that and, and when this opportunity came we thought it would be great if we could expand it. So that's what we've, we've done. Initially we, we felt we needed a management plan so we got some funding to um, complete a management plan. From that plan we highlighted five or six areas that we needed to tackle straight away. So they were um, weed eradication, revegetation around the billabong and in the billabong and also revegetation of a constructed wetlands that we've used to process stormwater. So we've had a solar pump installed, taking water from the Ovens River. We've also put in some interpretive signage about the billabong. And finally, we've tried to engage our school communities and general public in coming down here and, and looking over the place. One of the key things that we undertook was to work with partners and stakeholders to develop a conservation action plan which was driven by, by Trust for Nature and wide consultations to identify what are the key issues and threats and, and priority actions to address those threats. Our Catchments, Our Communities project uh, has been instrumental in bringing together a range of landholders through the planning process. Uh, we held several workshops with conservation action planning and this brought together a lot of the landholders along the river with uh, excellent results in people taking up project opportunities. We successfully established all of the, the trees around the outside including one row of direct seeding which seemed to have worked well. Uh, this was a one kilometre section um, that we've fenced using our flood fencing which is a three strand hot wire designed to not collect debris and also to give way at strategic points. We have also installed some troughs because this last section means that there is no water available to the animals in this paddock anymore. The project also funded a few nest boxes and already we're seeing a few squirrel gliders in the nest boxes. We've got a number there. We've got a few nest boxes around the rest of the farm as well. Planted over a thousand trees with the assistance of North East CMA and fenced that out for stock control, which has been successful. There's no point just one person looking after the river. Everybody has to be on board. Our protection of our river systems is, is just paramount. And we're close enough to the ovens that actually when it floods, we do get almost some backwater from the ovens. So we're being part of the ovens, our catchment, our communities project, you know, we really are related. And we do need these, these massive corridors of, of linking the, the, wet, the wetlands all through the Burraman area and through the ovens and, and to the Murray. I mean, that's, that's initially where, um, where a lot of the wildlife corridors were. Yes, with the program, uh, as it progressed, there is definitely a difference and uh, a benefit from it. The integration of these projects with others around the community is, is paramount. I mean, you know, wildlife doesn't always just stay in one, one place. It needs habitat and when things get tough, they need to be able to move in and out. You know, when we get floods, they need to be able to move somewhere. So integration is, is really good. We got a lot of interest from landholders, from community groups, from land care, uh, from uh, partner agencies towards working uh, together, promoting integrated cultural management. Friends of friends have come down here volunteering, working on different projects, various school groups, so it it's, it's involves a lot of different people. We're hoping just to get lots more wildlife and birds and protect the river too.